Hello and welcome to HF Creates. In uh, this tutorial we will be making grass and I'm using Illustrator CC 2017 but I think it will work in most illustrators. So start off with creating a new document and you can use any size you want uh, obviously but I'm gonna use A3 since we will be making grass and I'm gonna use RGB since I'm not gonna be printing this anyway and RGB has nice greens so yeah, create a new document and uh, first of all what you want to do is uh, create a circle and uh, this circle will be like roughly the size of your grass so maybe like that and remove the stroke and select the gradient for the fill change it to radial and now you're gonna be choosing uh, the colors of your grass so change like white to uh, this will be like your dark green the inner circle will be like the dark part of your grass so maybe like that and the outer circle will be uh, the bright color of the grass so I like to keep this like really bright and what you can do is adjust this or you can add another color so let's add another color actually maybe like so and uh, now you, what you want to do is uh, copy this circle, just drag it, hold the Alt key and the Shift key, drag it straight out. And depending on the shape of your grass, you might want to make this bigger or smaller, but I'm going to keep it the same size. And uh, now what you want to do is take your Blender tool and select the starting circle and the end circle. You can also select both of the circles and go to object blend and make then with the blend selected uh, click the double click the blender tool and you get your blend options or you can go to blend object blend and blend options it's the same thing check the preview box and go to specific distance so this is where you select how far it will be in every circle that we made. So what the blend the blend tool does is it uh, creates like you have these shapes and the blend tool creates a number of shapes between them that you select over here. So let's change this to I don't know the higher you have it the less uh, your computer will struggle while making this. So I, and you can change this later. So I suggest uh, that you start quite high and then when you're happy with your colors and everything else, you can you can decrease this. So let's go with, I don't know, let's try six. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, then choose your pen tool. And now you will draw the line that, uh, that your grass will follow. So I don't know, let's try that. I, I like to change it to a stroke, but you don't have to. And then what you want to do is select your path and your blend, both of them, and go to object, blend, and replace the spine. And this will make the circles follow the spine. And then, like, this is where the magic happens. And I've seen this uh, method being used to create fur and hair, but it works for grass too. So with your blend selected, go to effect, distort and transform and roughen and select uh, the points you can keep them as corner but i think it looks better as smooth and keep the detail high and check the preview box and uh, as you can see we get something that looks a little bit like grass i think and depend like the size is how big your grass are and the detail is how many straws you have in every circle so the detail it's like the higher you have it the harder for your computer but the better it looks so i like to keep it like really high and yeah let's try to drag the size up and you can see that it, it makes it bigger and yeah it makes everything bigger pretty much but it's, it looks quite nice so, but i like to have it quite small but it depends on what you want with your grass so let's just zoom in a little bit and as you can see it uh, you can you can still see like these different circles that the blend tool made so 
you probably want to decrease that. So to do that, let's just drag this down a little bit first. So to de decrease the, the the distance between the circles, you go to your selected blend tool and go to object, blend and blend options again. And here you can see you have still have this selected. So let let's change this down to three. And as you can see, nothing happens. You have to press the preview, preview button twice to be able to see the change. It's quite weird, but that's the way it is. And now you can see we have, they are a little bit further apart. And yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it looks quite nice. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But if you want a little bit more tips and tricks or something, you can keep watching the tutorial. So if you want to change color, you can just go into your blend and select the, the circles and change the color in them. And, but uh, it will be quite laggy. So what I like to do is uh, select the select blend and go to your appearance tab and just click the eye on the roughen. So you don't have to update the roughen every time you change the color. And now you can change the color of your circles. Uh, let's take this one and have the field selected. And I don't know what you would like to do. Maybe make this a little bit darker. Maybe yeah, too dark. Maybe like so. And just we can keep this brighter. They don't have to be the same color. You can get like a nice gradient over the whole thing. And then. When you finished, uh, when you're finished with uh, with your color change, you can go to the select your blend, go to the appearance tab, and just click the roughen again, and it will only update once. And now, as you can see, we get we have changed the color, and uh, there's a few different things you can do. As you can see here, the grass like it's flowing this way, and if you want to change the way it's flowing, you can select the blend, go to object, blend and reverse spine. And as you can see, it will like reverse the whole thing. And you can also, if we go back, you can go to object, blend and reverse front to back. Uh, it, it doesn't make the same thing, but in this example, it, it like it's only if the spine cross itself, it, you will see any difference between the two options. Yeah, there's, uh, there's another thing you can do. So let's uh, take the rough one away and select these two. And let's make this go from black to white instead. And then we go to the blend and reactivate the roughen and this will now be like a shading and you can copy this ctrl c and ctrl shift v to place it in the same place so now that you have this blend copied you go to object and expand appearance and this will create all your circles into individual objects what you can do now is uh, you can actually go to window uh, to view and hide, hide edges so we don't have to see all the edges. Select the group and just make it a fill color. This will make it the same color. Then now everything has uh, the same gradient. Change it to linear and then you change the gradient. You want like the white to be at the tip of the grass and the black to be at the bottom. So a little bit of, yeah, let's try that. And now you change it to the green colors. And then you actually go to the transparency tab and select, let's try multiply. And as you can see, you get uh, uh, like some better shading. Okay, so there's a few other different ways you can adjust this while uh, creating it so one way is uh, changing the shape this is just the plain blend i made 
with uh, instead of a circle I used a, a hexagon and I rounded the corners because uh, I found that the uh, sharp corners doesn't look very nice. So that's one way you can do it. And uh, I've also made uh, this one, which is uh, the same shape, but uh, it's uh, it's two blends. It's uh, it's a oops, that's the wrong one. It's a the first blend is a, let's just look at it. It's a black and white with uh, the radio uh, the radial gradient and the oops <laughs> I forgot to change this one too so let's uh, change this to <laughs> radial well yeah so the, it's not the same gradient but uh, they're quite close from black to white and radial and then the, they have a a transparency blend options or blend option of multiply and then the blend underneath is uh, they have a linear gradient so the green goes from dark green to bright green from top to bottom and the same for the end one and as you can see on the picture over here this has uh, a more bright green and this is darker and that makes a quite a cool effect and uh, you can use more than two shapes and you don't the shapes don't have to be the same shape you can use uh, different kind of shapes and more than two so to do that you take your blender tool and just click on the shapes you want to use and uh, the order you click them is the order the spine will go so then you just do the same thing again as you've done before and uh, by doing this uh, you can get some interesting shapes and uh, yeah your grass will just look a little bit more interesting if you do it this way with the different shapes and uh, different uh, uh, different colors and just goof around till you like the way it looks but uh, yeah, another thing you can do is also is you can take your spine and and select points on the spine and move them around uh, and the grass will follow. So to summarize what you can change is you can lay them on top of each other, you can change the color and change the blend, blend mode, you can change the shape and you can change the, uh, the position or the shape of the gradient. Well, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And if you have watched till the end and you enjoyed the tutorial, please leave a like. It will mean a lot to me. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.